Hey, Kale from Cubo Gaming. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the spud gun in Scrap Mechanic. So I know for me, one of the first things, if not the first thing I wanted to get was the spud gun, but I really wasn't sure how, and it's a bit of a process. So where you get the spud gun is at the merchant. If you don't know where he is, what you'll want to do is you'll want to follow the road until you see the packing station. And he usually is around that area usually behind the packing station so once you find him you can see that he has the spud gun along with some other types of spud guns so in this video i'll be making the regular spud gun but you can basically use somewhat of the same process to get whichever one you want so you can see that it takes two blueberry and two orange packages as well as a caged farmer so before i go over these you first need to get those fruits so you can buy the blueberry and orange seeds from him with tomatoes and beets you don't already have those seeds you can grab them from here so go ahead and plant those so if you aren't really aware on how to build a farm you should build a barrier around your crops because they will get attacked by bots every time the timer on the crops hit zero also you're going to want to put fertilizer down and then plant your seeds don't forget to water each individual crop and if you have it the fertilizer spray really helps so in total you're going to need 30 tomatoes and 30 beets for the merchant You'll need to have a large storage and make a vacuum and a button. So put the large storage on the back of your car and then put the vacuum on that large storage. Then you'll want to connect the button to the vacuum and then the driver's seat to the button. This will allow you to use the packing station. So store all your beets and tomatoes in the large storage and head over to the packing station. So once you're here, you're going to want to back up to either the tomato or beet slot. And then once you're backed up to it, the slot will open. Then you're going to want to push the button and that'll shoot the vegetable or fruit into the slot. You'll see the meter start to build up and once you hit 10, then a package of that fruit or vegetable will shoot out the other side. So you can pick these up and place it on your car. And once you're all set, you can head back to the merchant. So once you're back at the merchant, you're going to want to place your package fruit on this platform and press this button. So go back to the merchant and you can see at the top that you have three beets and three tomato packages to use for when you purchase the seeds and go ahead and get the blueberry and orange seeds. And then go ahead and plant them like you did with the tomato and beets. And when you harvest each fruit, you'll get seeds back with it. So even though you bought five, you'll get a ton more from the crops you already grew. In total, you're gonna want 20 blueberries and 20 oranges. So once you have all that, you can load it up into your storage on your car and you won't be going to the same package station this time you'll need to find the other package station on the map it honestly shouldn't be too far I just followed the road and found it pretty easily so once you find it just do the same thing as you would with the tomato and the beets once you got the packages you can go back to the merchant so again place them on the platform and press the button and lastly you'll need a cage farmer so basically just roam the map until you find this type of area and you'll hear the farmer so I usually find these guys in fields. I found this one behind the merchant. So there should be one close to this area. So go ahead and bring them to the merchant and you'll do the same thing as before. Put them on the platform and push the button. So now you have everything you need for the spud gun. So go ahead and purchase it. So now that you have the spud gun, all you need is some potatoes for ammo. And potatoes are pretty easy to grow and you usually get a lot of them. The gun is pretty useful and it saves you a lot of time and health so it's worth the hassle. Alright that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, leaving a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and our discord link below.